What I'm trying to do in this video is display the battery voltage from the power module, which is connected on the APM, on the Minim OSD. So the first thing we do is we go to this link right here, which is the uh, Minim OSD extra page, and just go to the wiki right here, the wiki tab, and then go down to APM parameters right in this area. APM parameters needed. And then if you scroll down through here, it has all the parameters that you need to enter into the ArduPilot Mega software, which is the mission planner. And I just printed that out and I've got a copy of it right here. Now when the uh, ArduPilot is powered on the USB cable, uh, even though the Minim OSD has both uh, 5 volts and 12 volts, 5 and 12, it still can't display anything because it isn't getting the Mavlink heartbeats. And I found out you have to have the power module running to supply the voltage to get that to work. But the caveat is you can't have the power module on and the USB at the same time or you damage the board. So right now the Minim OSD will not be displaying anything. So now the reason we put it on the USB is so we can enter these parameters into the ArduPilot. So what we'll do is uh, connect the ArduPilot first by clicking the connect button and the baud rate has to be 11, 5, 200 and the COM port is 6. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect. Usually when it gets to about 25 it starts connecting counts down on the timeout and then connects. Okay, now the Arju pilot is getting ready to initialize and talk to the Mission Planner software. And now it's talking. You can see some of the information changing. And if I move the Arju pilot, you can see the the artificial horizon moving and all that. So we know it's connected. So once it's connected, then we go to the configuration tuning icon here. And normally when it's not connected, you won't get all of these menu choices. That's a, that's a clue that you need to connect or it's not talking or something. But once you get all these menu choices after connecting, you can go to uh, full parameter list here. Click on full parameter list and you'll get all the parameters that you can write to the uh, ArduPilot. Now what we want to change is the serial port 3 parameters which I've got printed out on this sheet. So we're going to go scroll down to serial port 3 let's go down it's all alphabetical we're in the R's. There we go. There's serial port 0 and then 3 is right after it. Uh, the first thing they want us to change is the baud rate, but it's already right. It's on 57 and it was 57 over here. But the others on this uh, all have 1's for serial port 3, so we need to change these 1's to what's on this sheet. Okay, I've entered all these highlighted items right here that were on this sheet. There's another set of items down here for a uh, copter, but I'm not going to be using those because I'm using a plane. So, I've got everything entered. Now I'm going to go up here and I can save the data or load the data. But, but I, what I'm going to try to do here is write params and see what happens. See if I can write it to the to the RG pilot. So I click write params. They just flash really quick. Alright, so I've done everything I can do. Now we just need to 
see if it made any changes to the OSD and uh, so I'm going to take it off the USB and reconnect it up to the batteries and see what the screen looks like. Okay, everything's connected back to the batteries and uh, there's the screen. I really don't see anything different, it, but at least it still works. It's looking at the uh, battery uh, parameters here. And the battery monitor right now is disabled. It's zero. So that might be my problem. I'm not seeing the battery voltage on the OSD because this says zero disabled and it is a zero. And it looks like three voltage only, four voltage and current, I guess. So we could put a four in there so we get voltage and current or just voltage only. Um, let me try putting a, let's see if I can, I'll just go ahead and start out slowly here and I'll put a 3 in so we get at least voltage. And then I'll write the parameters. Let's just go over here and look at the uh, data we got. Ah, let's see now. Is there a battery thing here? Yeah, here we go. Now the voltage is showing up. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, disconnect and see if we get a reading on the OSD now. Okay, I'm disconnected. I'll remove the USB cable and go back to the batteries and check the OSD for battery voltage. Okay, so that worked. Once I got back on the batteries now, changing that parameter now gives me battery voltage up here. But it's kind of a strange reading. I don't know why it's only 389 when I have almost a 12 volt battery on there. Okay, I think we've solved our battery voltage problem. I had to go on this site right here. This long wiki link. And, uh, they had some information about going into the configuration menus and changing these parameters for the battery monitor. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So let's close this screen and connect. Now it's actually unlike the directions which was an older version it's actually under initial setup now. So you go to initial setup and then you go to um, battery monitor. So initial setup, battery monitor. And then you come down here and you can select voltage and current. And down here I picked the 3DR power module which is what I have. And then I picked APM 2.5 plus, and I've got the 2.6, so that works, using the 3DR power module, so I selected that one. Okay, now down here, once you do that, it fills in these parameters for you. You can also punch them in by hand, but the divider had to be 10 right here and all that. And right now it's going to be reading the wrong voltage, because guess what? The battery's not plugged on the power module, so course it's not getting any reading. So that's actually true. There is no voltage. Okay, now we can disconnect. And it saves the settings apparently once you disconnect or during after you change them here it automatically saves them to the Arju Pilot. So there's no save on this one. We'll just uh, disconnect. Okay, take it off the USB and We'll put it back on the batteries and see what the OSD says. Okay, it's initializing now on the batteries. And there is the voltage, 11.78, which is real close to this. And if you look at this one, it goes to all. There's all. We got 11.8, so 11.79 would be real close to 11.8. So looks like we got it. So that was the answer to that, and it took a, a bunch of different wiki links and configuration, but uh, success. So that's it for that. On to the next phase.
In order to use the Minim OSD, you need to configure it uh, with the config tool. And the config tool only works when you have the uh, USB to FTDI cable connected. So you connect the Minim OSD directly to the computer through the USB port. Now I don't have that cable. We've gone ahead and ordered uh, a breakout box, FTDI to uh, USB breakout box from SparkFun and we're waiting to get it and then we can connect this up and use the config tool. Uh, let me just show you what the config tool looks like. I'll go ahead and uh, close this. Okay, the config tool is right here. I've already downloaded it. And there it is. And basically that's it and you've got uh, three different pages you can look at and what you can do is uh, select which items you want to see on the on the OSD screen with these check boxes and you can move the items around on this grid and then basically you can save it and there's a uh, I think there's a toggle switch mode you can put on your radio so you can toggle between this panel and that panel or just off so you don't see any OSD. But you can configure these two panels to show different items the way you want them to be. But I'll have to do that later after I get that FTDI cable. So thanks for watching. See you next time.